a good day because we had frozen temps last, freezing temps last night and today it's warming up beautifully. Maple buckets. Doug has been collecting sap each day and hanging the buckets and with Robert and Douglas and Nita. Oh, this is Robert on the back of the truck. He's helping with the making maple sap. This is the front of the maple house. This is the wood pile that they have cut in preparation for the boiling of the sap. We still have some snow. We have the boiling sap. This is the big boiler. It takes lots of wood to boil it. It takes 30 to 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. And there's our grandpa doing what he does best. Supervising the sap boiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's Mama. She's getting ready to have a glass of cup of maple sap. Yep. And Grandma's going to show them how to make maple snow. How do we make maple snow? I don't know. We have the jugs ready to pour the maple syrup in when it's finished. But don't leak your lips. Just make it chubby. Then we take it home and then we'll finish it at home on the stove so that it's the right consistency. is the roaring fire that has to be kept going so that the sap will boil down. It takes quite a while to do it. <laughs> Robert is opening the lid on the maple bucket to show you how the sap is dripping into the bucket. And you see the spout that Doug and Robert and Douglas put in. The sap is very sweet. Want to taste it, Robert? Robert just tasted the sweet maple sap. We have many buckets hung on the trees. We have buckets hung on many, many trees. The steam is pouring out of the cupola. Oh. We have two more buckets. We have buckets. Some trees can have two buckets. Some trees can have three buckets. And some trees only will have one bucket. This is where they pour the buckets of sap into this big holding tank. And then there's a connecting tube that goes into the boiling, boiling shack. And when the boiling shack has the tube inside, it then goes into the pans. And this is the stack for the smoke. These are the buckets that they carry to bring the sap back to the maple house to dump it into the boiler or into the uh, stock tank. And there we have the truck. We're getting ready so that we can clean the pans after. The pans are sticky, quite dirty from all the boiling that goes on inside. So we have to clean the buckets after. We scrub the buckets and we scrub the pans after. We're back in the maple shack again. You see the pans that are boiling. It's boiling very hard. Okay, just a minute. Let me pour this one, okay?
There's the smokestack that goes upside. This is where the sap runs out of the stock tank down into the pans with this spout as we're ready for more. Guire Lake is out in the front. The ice is still on the lake. It has not gone yet. Even though it's the 16th of April, we still have a lot of ice on the lake. Nita, who's cooling some maple sap so that she can try to see what it tastes like. And we're going to make a little maple snow for Robert here pretty soon. This is the maple leaf that Doug and Ken made years ago. Like it needs to be painted. You want more? Yeah. It never was painted. No. I know. I think it looks like it should be. Which what? Let's see if I can get some more of the steam from the cupola up there. That's kind of an impressive sight to have that steam like coming out there. That's the stand. We're going to take that up to the house and put a filter on, and then we'll we'll show you more in our video about filtering the syrup and how you get it canned. So that we use to cut the wood for the maple boiler. There's some of the wood Doug has just cut. Syrup day we often have on a maple syrup day we often have a picnic lunch too. Need to pack sandwiches and pop, and so everybody had a little snack as well as having some maple sap for snack time. Hello, it's uh, April 16th. I'm, uh, of course, you know me, Douglas Flairmont of the Flairmont line. I'm not sure how we make maple syrup. We'll see the big trees. Here. You see this, uh, uh bucket? Hard steel. And what it does. <laughs> you can see this tiny little thing that, uh, if you would come a little closer, we could give a closer look. That's okay. I zeroed in. She's right at the spout. Don't talk. And see there? This stuff. This syrup is going to be boiled, as you see over in that shack. Don't. Is that your, uh, this is not bad. Head. Okay, I think we'll see here. These trees are real big. big. Some, okay. Sometimes they can get to 240 feet high. 240. You can see they're a orchard just off. And we have. I just see what they go way, way up. About 25 feet, there's a little thing called a gomex. What that does is it's a very loose bar, and, and the, see, it's kind of like a hump up in the tree. So, and also, to continue with the bucket part, what it does is way down here, deep, deep in the ground, it, don't get out of here, it, what it does is the roof, like you see those uh, buckets way far in the distance, Get and this ground here with the X. You can see that they're maple leaves. Here, bud, hold. To continue with the soil. What? What's that? <laughs> well, what this thing is, this is very unusual, but that's a chipmunk hole. And if you'd just come real close to me. It's a little tiny hole right in there while I'm sticking this through. Ooh, bad. And what this uh, is, can you see where I stick it sticking through this hole here? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. bulk. What that is, is it actually, like, did you see the hole I just showed you? It was a uh, uh, hail hail hail. This. this hole. And it was, well, what should I say first? Did About you? drilling. Okay, sure, here we go. Well, what happened? There's not much syrup, but it can get up to here, which is about 40 kilograms. 
Well, first you have to drill a hole in that tree. How? And put with the drill and bit. And then you I put, want to put another, uh, and then you put the spout in there, and you push it with a hammer. But I don't want to take that out. The time to show again. And then you put the hole. What we you do is, 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 is it already has your hands like that, and then like that has a handle, goes like that. And then what we do, it's hard to see, but if you get real close, there's not much. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is a bucket. It's hard to feel like I explained it earlier. And see this thing? It kind of looks like a Chinese flying hat or saucer. But what it is, is it actually to cover the maple syrup in case there is a storm. Okay. I'll so we don't have rain in it, right, Douglas? Yep, that's right. You, you, you put this pad here. Uh, um, then you push down. So it's secure and you got a hole. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. Good evening again. And now what we have here is that is the maple boiler. You can see that hole. And this here is where we store the maple syrup. It's so hard to get off. Sap. Maple sap. You're not supposed to corrupt me. I'm sorry. Sir, Mama. I can't and use these. Grandma, I can't use these with the snow bottle. My this thing grass. here yes, is you can. Uh, what we separate the syrup from the tree bark. And what that is, is when we open this, it's kind of hard to open, but when we do open it, what it does is that what we do is we set this up and shake it like a wobble board. And also, and we clean it out at the end of the season, don't we, Douglas? Enough. And down here, it's pretty hard to see, but like they say, when you look real carefully, you can always see it. There's a little yellow tab down there, so which, when we want to take the syrup off, what that does is it just lets the whole thing run, just like cow manure. Now we have the boiler. The boiler is... Uh, place where we I mean, boil the maple syrup. You can see what Grandpa's doing now is basically the same thing. He's a testing it to be sure it's okay. Now, if we go deeper into the boiler, you'll see these big pans. But they are these huge pans which look for maple syrup. Look, that's how this is. This is a big stove. What it does is it um, heats up the maple syrup, makes it in the maple syrup. These bricks here get very hot, so don't ever touch them. And you can see, you won't walk to see it, but you can see all that smoke up there that looks like a whole bunch of ghosts. Okay, to continue with the story, what we do is sit here for four or five hours and just Wait for the soup to boil, as you can. Hot, but I'll give you my opinion. That, um, <laughs> if, um, have you ever watched There Goes a Fire Truck? Well, ah, ah. We're checking the density of the maple sap to see if it's ready to pour off. Scraping the soot off the bottom of the pan. So are we ready for use? That's exactly right. Oh, one thing, right? Tell them you need to get it. I think it is, then. Is there anything on video? Scraping the foot off the pan. Uh-huh. So it'll be nice and ready for next year. Now we're going to dump the pans from one into the other because it's getting low. 
And we don't want the maple syrup to burn. You don't have another cinnamon, do you? We're now filtering the maple syrup. We have brought home four gallons this year. And it's now put through the felt filter. And it's dripping into the pan. It's getting all the pieces of soot and anything that was in the process. After it's filtered through the filter, I will take it upstairs and put it on the stove and boil it down to where it's supposed to be the right temperature reading before canning it. Then we sterilize the jars and the lids and we can it. Robert is watching and thinking about all the good pancakes that he and Douglas will have. Trying to get a... This is the maple syrup boiling down to about 114 so that we can put it into the molds over here and make maple sugar candy. They're both rubber. That's where you can break the, the break it out of the molds. And now we get to lick the pan. How can, how can this sugar come out of it? Hardening in the bowl. And tomorrow morning we'll take it out and everybody can have a treat. And Karen. <laughs> Steve, Mary, and the girls came to visit us again this weekend so we could be together. Of course. Talk to Grandma. Where's your control? That was. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the control? And this is Douglas and Mary Ann. Mary Ann wants the stickers, okay? Where's Karen? Sure. What, what, what one do you want? So I look like Cuffman and Bunny Ann? Yeah. They're very Can good pals. Do you want to just have a nice piece? Yeah, I'll have a nice piece. Want me to put this here by the, by the birds? Mary Ann, do you want me to go or do you want me to carry your horse? Douglas. Douglas brought Grandpa Lark's little rocking chair out and she sat in there and she knows how to rock a bye and Douglas is showing her how. Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? You must be proud of yourself, Karen. How do you want to say? <laughs> she knows how to make it rock. <laughs> you like that rocking yeah. here in the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I bet Karen likes that. 
And this is Douglas over here. And get a close up of Douglas. <laughs> well, look over there. Grandma's taking a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Very kind. You want? Quickly you want this? Today's another boiling day, and we have Ken, Nancy, and our boys here with us today. And they're helping make maple syrup today. This will be the last day that we're going to make it because the trees are going to be budding out very last soon. Last day this year. This year, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't want that air of finality. And Kellen has got his usual stick that he's bouncing around there. Pretty soon we're going to have some maple sap in the cups for them to drink. Maple leaf. 
He likes that maple leaf that his daddy and his uncle Doug and his aunt Mary made. You could build it even if you didn't. The shack is getting pretty old and they're going to have to do some repairs on it. Maybe this summer we'll get time to do some of that. Comes Nancy. She's been up to the house and she's back again. Kellen is having a drink because he gets very thirsty down here. And they're going into the woods over here to collect some sap, and we'll follow them shortly. Did we bring this back? Yes, hi ho, hi ho, off the work we go. Do you like that? Yes, keep singing, Kellen. That is beautiful. Keep singing. Hi ho, hi ho, off the work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, off the work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, off the work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, off the work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, off the work we go. Come on, Greg. Oh, here we go. Take a picture of me telling you this. Yes. Probably better. No, it's too heavy. I don't want to Definitely help. Kellen, go up there, sweetheart. I can't get you in the picture, sweetheart. That's wonderful. You drop it, you're in trouble, big trouble. Because I've warned you. Okay. And Kellen is chopping trees because he's going to get more firewood for the maple boiler. Okay. He's such a busy man. The cupola yeah. is making yeah, lots of steam away. again today. I got a bucket. Alexander is taking a rest. I'm waiting for He's waiting for somebody to come and get the tumor bucket. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run over here. Okay. Wood pile. He's getting more wood ready. Helen is sitting on the wood pile. Hello. These are two cousins, Robert and Cameron. Get zero in here. Okay, okay, okay. Alexander is emptying buckets, and then they're going to pull the spouts today and clean the buckets up. pulling the spouts. Nancy is... Let's see if I can find Nancy. Here's Nancy.
Hard work, Nancy, huh? Where'd you put those lids? Oh, okay. surface in the buckets for now, for this year. Oh boy, you're going to need to cry out for mercy here. Yeah. Now, uh -oh. Want to to mercy, Daddy? oh, don't start crying now, okay? <laughs> don't start crying. Hey, your teeth are coming in too, aren't they? Do you want to be pranked? I'm both pranked Well, don't, don't, don't gang up. You want, you want to see your love? Honey? Yeah. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Wow. She's dancing. Look. Uh -huh. I have to put them in this big bucket. <laughs> oh, your hand is getting so big. Oh. Uh oh, I can't let go. How do you let go here? Ah, my fingers are stuck. I won't let go. Ah, I'm trying to let my fingers go. They will come loose. <laughs> They're stuck with maple syrup. <laughs> I can do I can get you. Come fly and fly. I'll get you. <laughs> Oh, oh, you guys, <laughs> you guys are so You gotta do this with your daddy more. Gotcha. So you're staying do practice. Okay. <laughs> <it>. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Those that go to the house every day got that hose. Yeah. You're gonna get it. Go to muffin or banana bread or a scone? Sure, I got something. Stick your hands out and get some wine. Mm -hmm. Go to the barn or banana bread or... Oh, Dad, do you want a bun or some banana bread no. or something? I don't know. What's this stuff up on? I'm going to take that as an insult for not eating my homemade bun. No, I don't want any bun. Can you take a picture of me? No. I guess so. You do the froggy hop, hop. You do the froggy hop, hop. You do the froggy hop, hop. You do the kid shoe, bro. Now Alexander's doing the bear hop. Good deal. Cleaning up, getting ready to put things away for this season. Yep. Wow. Nancy has worked and she's recuperating here for, for the next big thing. Worked, yeah, real hard. It's called bored. Mm. Come on. I'm it. 
You can always pick grapevine. Well, we know Paul's never been at Yellowstone. Kellen and Ellen and Kellen and Robert are playing in the sandbox together. They play very, very nicely now. <laughs> 